Hey, welcome hey. back to the channel. It's your boy Scotty, and my co host this week is. I'm Batman. There you go. And we're here for a guide to the Bang Tan 7. Seven. The BTS members. Now, we're well seasoned army. At least I feel I, like I, it. I would still say that we're, you know, there's a lot of things that we don't know. A lot of things that we continue. Like, we're continuing our army education, right? So, and that's kind of when I wanted to do this. So, a, a lot of reactors have done this. Mm -hmm. This is from a channel called Taylor Marie. This is a guide to the BTS members, the Bang Tan 7. Mm -hmm. And it's a guide that came out about a year ago. I kind of wanted to see what we don't know and then we're also kind of quiz not quiz ourselves but kind of make it a thing like what do we know yeah you I know think, but then yeah. see if we can find some nuggets of things that we we don't really know about i mean you know obviously like bts is a very big part of like our channel uh they were the first k-pop group that we were introduced to react to and fell in love with we have done you know deep dives into this is the boys before we've watched rise of bang Ten and that like love that whole series yeah getting like an updated guide to them i'm sure there's gonna be a lot of things like you said that we do know and you know but it's always like those little things that like you kind of like pick up like oh i forgot about that right like, oh right you know there might be something in here that i'll pick up I'm like oh i did know that right. you know right. so yeah. i'm excited to see what like how this is yeah i'm, I'm kind of excited to see like test my my bang ten knowledge yeah, so exactly. Not, and if you're wondering why I'm Batman, it's it's my birthday month, so I can do what I want. <laughs> so I'm Batman for a couple of videos. So be it. It'd be that way. But Anyways, <laughs> let's get into this. OG link will be in the description down below. A guide to the BTS members, the Bang Tan. Seven. Was it May 2022? Look that ocean. So far, I'm on 100%. Oh, no, no. All right, so I didn't know exactly how many awards, but yeah. 700. That's it's also kind of like a celebration to look back at some things that we we've discovered over the years. Yeah. Now, Jungkook, you got Jungkook to the top of that list of Hot 100. Tell like how shocked they are. Like. Hell yeah. It's an, it is an honor. That's a crazy, amazing honor, yeah. Special. Yeah, when they went to the UN, like, that was a big deal. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And they yeah. went to the White House, yeah, just last year, yeah. That was a big that was deal. massive, yeah. True. They worked and clawed their way to where they are. Wow. Oh, look how young they wow, were. Wow, man. June 13, 2013, baby. Just over 10 years ago. This is insane. 
Fucking Professor X. Big Mr. Big Bang. Yeah. You see the Attack on Titan mask they had on there? That was dope. I, I think that's what it was. It's crazy to think that's that's where they came from sharing that room right. like that. Yes, yep. <laughs> waffle? Bel the capital of Belgium is the waffle? Wow, that's a very gin line. Bon, bon voyage. In the soup, that's another show we need to do. Mm -hmm. For yet to come with those latency issues. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're not afraid to talk about shit. That's, that's one of the things I love about them. That's one of the things that made them like, more unique. Seen this shit, Ron Tronda. That hair, baby. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah. That's that real leadership quality, you know, where he's like humble. <laughs> I don't remember seeing him like on like crawl like that. No, 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 that was uh, I believe that was V. No, no, no I knew V. No, 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 I knew V had like a hard, hard time because like V's. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. And J, yeah, J yeah, yeah, but, but yeah, but now I'm doing over here like crawling on the floor. Although dangerous in the kitchen. <laughs> oh, this one. Oh, yeah, we yeah, saw yeah. that one recently, yeah. That's true. Super smart. That's crazy that he's like a genius like that. I mean, it makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> 
상이 있었지만 어느 순간 아니 이제 봐요. 중국 상이 1.3%. 어. 아. 皆さんも申してますよ。ジミーさんが特に大好きな方がいます。最近ね、そう言いました。You appreciate it. But of course, Indigo now, I bet it, it's, this was up before Indigo, yeah. but... Nice, that's awesome. I that's, didn't know that fact. Yeah, I didn't know that he had that many credits. It really, yeah. His love for art really came through with like yes. Indigo. Yeah, yeah, like especially letting, with Indigo. Like letting that yeah. shine. I like how. Oh. Pause it real quick. Oh. One of the things that I like about Nam June, right, is like he doesn't, you know, uh, sometimes leaders can be like overbearing. And sometimes you do see those moments where like he like looks at the other guys like, hey, like, sort your shit. Yeah. But like, I feel like what a good leader does and what he does, like he leads by example and doesn't dictate. Yeah. And he's he's got such a creative and open mind that mm -hmm. like he, I, all he, I know all he wants not only. For the music that he writes for the group, but when he for, helps write other things for individual members and mm -hmm. helps collaborate with them, it's all about openness and like tell that story, man. He's all he's very much about the story, like mm -hmm. tell the story because this was real and this was that's what's real about. Being there's a there's a realness with BP. <laughs> Maybe that's not your line. There's a there's a realness with BTS and it starts with RM mm -hmm. because he's very open and that's that's why I admire about BTS is they're superstars but they're humble superstars and yeah. they're open and they've been open this whole this whole journey that they they've taken and RM is at the center of that because mm. he's 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 like really he's like the heart of BTS he really is yeah I, I, I don't want to go so far to say that he has like the most humility but because they they all. You know have that in them they all you know are very humble yeah very you know even though it is like their when it is their time to shine like there is like that like you know that that drive to do better to do mm -hmm. more you know to like never be satisfied and i think it does start with him yeah absolutely all right now let's get into sugar youngie dang we haven't had it youngie we haven't had a good youngie in a while god i needed that all right and this is before D-Day came out And D-Day is off the fucking change But everything else Before that too I've seen that video I wonder if they're gonna mention like his, uh, his original name Maybe Oh he's killing the faux hawk though Gloss yeah yep. I knew it was gonna be Gloss I'm from Daegu, bitch. Pull up, pull up. Ugh. 
이게 영화네 2013년 2월 17일 주간 쇼핑 끝 하나가요 There we go. Oh yeah. He's like Prince. Mm. I'm just gonna say I, I again, remember we, we've been through this phase again. I, I'm not gonna get re mad. <laughs> we've been through it with the rise of Bangtan, but yeah, like fuck those those dudes. I'm, I'm it, it, so, it, it shows the humility and the maturity and strength that they had to just say, not go off or to like retaliate back in some kind of way even verbally cause you know what couldn't be me yeah I was gonna say couldn't like, be me if it's, hey you wanna talk some shit I, I was gonna hey, say I'm, hey I'm fucking fucking Batman I was definitely gonna say like the level of strength that the res- level of restraint that he held like when you have like somebody like talking like trash to your face like a lot of, a lot of uh a lot of emotions that go through your head and everything, but like to be able to like rise above that and then take that and like put it into like something like um, uh, uh, therapeutic, right? Like you know, put it put it in the music expression. and things like that. Like express yourself. I'm sure that like these, if I remember correctly, these dudes got like an ear for right. Like oh yeah, they was, they they got it extra was, called out like it, crazy. Yeah, and you know like I'm sure like they're eating their words now, but like <laughs> yeah, they are. Are you but, kidding me? <laughs> Who the fuck? Nobody knows who the fuck they are, but everybody but, knows who BTS is. So. But you know, like, you know, you know, you got sometimes you got to turn the other cheek, just like the boys are doing here. Like, you you live, you learn, right? And obviously, good things have happened for our boys. It's very true. You should always take the high road. Sometimes my mom, my mom reminds me of that, but then I have to remind her. That sometimes, mom, the low road, the low road, there. the low road is necessary at times. Sometimes, sometimes you got to take that alternate route. Sometimes the low road will get you there, but I think all good things come to people who like have like that drive, and the boys definitely have That's that why drive. We are, I, at least me, I'm not a humble superstar. <laughs> Boy, not, I'm not even a superstar, but I'm hum- I'm not humble. Cause all, anyways, back to them. Good on them now, too. That's tongue technology at its finest, son. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, he's got 136 credits. Okay. Nice. Oh yeah, bodyguard. That's when bodyguard Junko came out. And he's such a good dancer too. Yep. And of course, D Day, which came out after this, went into that even deeper. Yeah.
I can see that. That's kind of how I felt when we first started checking BTS out. But then once you get to know his yeah. personality, it's just how he is. Yeah. Like like having friends who are like a little less like open, or not not uh, like not that he's cold, right? But like you know having having those emotions like you know when you actually get to see them like come out like it makes it all that more special yeah because i used to think he was really stoic I love that a lot of these clips I haven't seen before. Keep playing the piano, I know that. Yeah, like the D Day concerts, like it was either like real rock elemented or like he was there with his guitar or piano from what I heard. Yep. Wish I had been there. Pause oh, yeah. Pause real quick. So, yeah, like, much respect to Yoongi yeah, as well, right? I, man, I've grown such a respect and love for Yoongi because, like, I always joke with my other two biases, but, like, really, Sugar, if, like, if if I had to pick, like, a third mm. or, like, a 1C, one, a one it would be Sugar because, especially with D Day, I just, I love that album so much and it's just. The what everything knowing everything that he's been through, the mm-hmm. struggles that he's been through, and the fact that he's so open about it is what makes it very admirable. Because not a lot, not a lot of superstars are open the way, especially somebody like yeah. Sugar is, and it's it's very admirable. And you can just, I can just tell like a, a lot of times when it's either a solo stage performance, or just in general when he's rapping, you can feel it, man. You can feel yeah. it. You can feel that emotion coming through. And it's it's hard to convey that sometimes, and he is it, it's like effortless for him. But it's mm. because you know it's real. It becomes yeah. it, it comes from a place that's real. And I'm not gonna lie, like I love RM, I love J Hope. He's the realest motherfucker in in BTS. Like he's not the one that I would want to like like catch in the streets like and talk <laughs> shit about because. Because he's from Daegu, bitch. He's from Daegu, and nah. I saw him you know, with those chopsticks. <laughs> but in general, though, like. You could just see the passion he has behind him, and it's it's very admirable. Yeah, like there there's like a lot of artists that you could tell are like faking the funk, right? But, yeah. But like the the subject matter that he touches on, like, is definitely something like that le- legitimizes him as somebody who like influences and helps people. Very much so, yeah. So like all the like all the respect to him, like, and actually seeing like him grow. You know, to where like it used to be like you know how like boy bands in America had like had, yeah. like, had the had the tough one, like coming in yeah, and not not knowing one, not yeah. knowing roles in K-pop, right? Like you would see him, he'd have like the do rag up, he'd be playing basketball, and like he definitely had like it that seemed like that, the quiet one, like oh. he definitely had like the tough guy vibe, like he was the quiet kid in class, right? And, and I've mentioned this before, you know, he's like an onion. He is he's a very like complex onion. onion. You just got to peel yeah. away those layers, and you'll see the real person mm-hmm. behind. Behind that that hard exterior, but you you realize that that hard exterior is up there for a reason because he's been through mm. a lot. Yes, and, and, but he's say, oh he's open about it. Yeah, I was gonna say like he's led us in on his journey to like you know walk that walk that line with him because he you know especially like Indita he talks about like not only like the emotional yeah. uh, you know struggles that he's had but like the physical struggles and things like that and for somebody who didn't want to be a dancer or you know. There was a period of time where his shoulder was really fucked up, mm-hmm. so like that was hurting him to go through all the battles and to get where he is. Like much respect. Hell yeah, love my boy Sugar. Yoongi! <laughs> get one more. All right, now we're on. It's our boy, J Hope. Hope <laughs> It's just so oh, it's man. so cool that to see is, him so young and right? like moving like that. But he's always been such a great dancer, bro. I feel like he has all my middle school fits on too. But it was two thousand eight, so around the time it, we were graduating high school, a little bit yeah. after that. 
What the fuck? I never saw that move go back. I know it. The boy goes up like kisses his foot. Right here. Oh, wow. <laughs> I know we didn't really kiss the foot, but it's just like that's what I'm calling. Could have even wanted to. That's what I'm gonna call that move. Boy is not real. It's all AI you CG. Got them CG they got them linguini legs. But then you see how tight like those like circles is. Oh yeah, around. it's it's so it's it, it's so talented. He's so fucking talented. It it like, hurts my heart that I can't do it. So in Pandora's box mm -hmm. myth, a box filled with evil was unleashed to the world, and the only thing that was left was hope. And now I know this is before his album came out, mm -hmm. before Jack, Jack in the, the box. box came out, and before he headlined Lollapalooza. Mm -hmm. And very much, there's a my favorite song in the album is Pandora's Box, and there's a lot of lore in that. And again, he's another one of those the members that that like can take a story and mm -hmm. just it's it's so compelling and just there's something about him that just always catches your eye either either it's his dancing his rapping his mm -hmm. stage performance his presence mm -hmm. his it's just everything if i could add to that when i think about j-hope i think about perfection the three J butter dance mm -hmm. behind the yeah. scenes will give there's, you all, all, all the yeah. context you need because there, it's we don't stop until it's perfect. There's obviously like leadership qualities that you can like pinpoint in every single member of the group, but when it comes to like you know being like the dance leader, because obviously like he's very talented. Not to take anything away from the, the guys, right? But we're focusing on him right now. But they like, even said they're yeah. like, I don't want to, I don't want to mess. Up. I don't yeah. want Hobie to. I don't want Holy to get mad at me for messing this up. And it's it's so crazy to think because like we talk about duality a lot, right? His like Hobie's duality between being happy go lucky, like jovial, to being like intense, like wanting to get things like perfect, like with that dance, um, like especially like the dance choreography, second to none. Yeah. When I, like I said, like when I think about him, I think about perfection. Yeah, and I just want to point that out because I'm, I'm assuming it's not going to go into Jack in the Box, sure. but, but. Yes, the I, he again story wise, like he's taken mm. that throughout, like you know, mm. like he came up with Hope World, which was kind of like a homage to Cold World because mm -hmm. his favorite rapper and an influence on him was J Cole, and now he yeah. got to work with him. Wow! So it's you know it's hey you manifest that every, shit every hey it, when you manifested. put when you put good out in the world like good comes back to you. Yeah. He manifested that. That's right, baby. Oh yeah. 
Happy virus, baby. See, it's that, it's that shit I'm talking about. I've never seen that, but... I haven't seen that either, yeah. Aww. Bring your help. I would say like, you know, his fashion is like the most like bubbly, not bubbly, but you know what I mean, like yeah, the most vibrant in a way because it does match his personality. Yeah. Like like it's different from like the other the, the other vibes. Yeah. All right, so again, we'll just close out with J-Hope. Like, yeah. like we kind of mentioned. We kind of did our, our talking about him before it ended. No, no but, but like, he really it, it is came, like... It came I, at such a, such a perfect, like, moment, right? Like, because yeah. literally, like I said, like, his duality... I think he has, like, the biggest duality of, like, everybody in the group. Yeah, oh, when you, when 100%. You, when you think about those 100%. two things, right? Like, you called him the happy virus, which he is. And then we also... I also called him the perfectionist, like, which he is. Yeah. Like, those are, like... So like when you think about it, those are so far removed from each other, right? Right, like, right, right, right. Just like being so happy, go lucky, jovial, like goofy, crazy. He always is gonna bring to a being, smile. Then to it, being like, all right, game time, let's do this. Yeah, and he's also, but he's also very emotional and deep, and we've seen. And yeah. again, it's that duality you were yeah. talking about. When you see Hobie in tears, like you can't help yeah, but like Lord. really feel like. That's coming from like that's that's coming from that's coming from deep in the cellar. You there's know, there's been a couple of moments where I've seen him break down, and I'm just. Like I felt it because because we we know the story behind things like mm-hmm. like that there's that very special moment like the like when he was like able to like shit like his dad I believe it was his dad that mm-hmm. showed up to one of their concert one of their first concerts and it was kind of like like yo like we we made it mm-hmm. and to be able to show that and you could just tell like the emotion on it it's 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 real and that's the thing with all seven members of BTS the most important thing you can come away with everything when you learn about them is how real they are. And I think that's why they stand above most other yeah, other groups, like, man. And I they're and they're, and they're they transcend worldwide. When like it's it's hard to get to the top of the mountain, but it's like even harder to stay there. Yeah. But like when you are like true to yourself, to your craft, like you can't help but like gather like people around you yeah. who want nothing more than for you to succeed. And it's very difficult to like cultivate. It's very difficult to find. But somehow, as a collective, the the boys have done that. Yes, and I so I jumped the gun earlier, but now yeah, yeah, no, we're, no, no. We're, we're on your your now on, now Mr. We're, Worldwide Handsome is yeah. so your bias, yeah, like Kim Sook Jin. I'm ready to see what they say about my man's over here. Again, before Astronaut came out. Yeah, but oh, purple hair era is my favorite yeah, era. Purple too. hair era is, especially did it himself. <laughs> so humble, so humble. <laughs> and look at Sugar, it's just like God damn it. Oh hell yeah! That I didn't know that they all had those either. Series. It was just like crazy to see like 
and him wear that fit and then go, like that. Go, go that hard. <laughs> All that power. I did not know that fact either. Wow. Okay. Also, uh, we'll, we'll talk we'll, again. We'll, we'll talk at the end. But yeah. one thing I will slip in there: funniest member of BTS by far. He he's the king of like the perfect puns, the dad it, jokes. Everything. It's it's an amalgamation of. It, he's just fucking hilarious. It's the opposite of self-deprecating, but it's still like done in a way where you can like. It's done in reverence, so it's and just kind of yeah, like, yeah, you, like, you laugh with it. He is worldwide handsome, but I. I firmly believe every time he says, like, I'm worldwide handsome, I feel like, like he firmly believes, like, I'm the most handsome motherfucker on this planet. I like, think, I feel like, I feel like that's what he says every time, and I, like, I feel like he feels that. I feel and like, I respect the fuck out of I that. I feel like it's two things. One, it's true. Well, and, yeah, I mean, and yeah. Two, and two, he's like, the more I tell it to you, the more you're gonna believe it. Yeah. You'll catch up to him one day, oh, citywide handsome. Someday, I'm staying local. The front door guy. Yep. Yep. <laughs> Jin doesn't use his power much. Only when food's involved. He, he's the oldest when he always acts like the youngest. That's why it's always so fun to see him and Jungkook like fuck around. Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. I have that sticker on my fridge. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, I'm just trying to get a picture of myself. <laughs> it's like, it's about me, man. <laughs> Hell yeah. Yeah, always always eating too. So it's apropos that he has his own little show. But I did not know he liked fishing. Super tuna makes way more sense now.
Hell yeah. Okay, so... Uh, that's, that's cool that they do I will say, check out Baby Shark versus uh, Super, Super Tuna. Tuna. Yeah. A little, little short I made of you. I think Jin is kind of the one in the group that we've really... Like, I've really grown to love. Because it was, he was the one that I didn't really know about the most. And then, but, like, you're always, like, I always knew, like, oh, man, he has amazing vocals. He's mm-hmm. a super good-looking dude. But then when we started doing Rise of Bain, then we started looking more into them. He's so fucking funny, dude. Like, he's yeah. he's always, like, like how J-Hope always brings, like, the good vibes. Mm-hmm. Jen is always looking to, like, what can I say to make it awkward but also funny at the same time. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But he's also that big brother that doesn't act like the big brother. And he can mm-hmm. be kind of like the younger brother. Mm-hmm. and But you can just see in every member's eyes and when they're around him how much admiration and respect they have for him. Mm-hmm. For, for being the, the oldest brother. But he's also, it's because he, he didn't take himself too seriously. And I think a lot of people in life take themselves too seriously. And if you can kind of, I don't want to say master the craft of being able to like make fun of yourself but make fun of the things around you. Like mm-hmm. how he said there, he's like, like, it makes me happy to make other people laugh and make other people happy. Yeah. And he's very much a people pleaser, and I think a, a lot of us are like that. I, I can resonate with that. I'm very much like that. Not only is he immensely talented, he's, he's an astronaut. Like, it's one of the only BTS videos I cried, and it was his performance with Coldplay in, in Argentina. And I, I'm with this with all the boys, but, like, even Jen, like, just, just it's it's so grounded, it's so real, and it's it's so emotional, but, like, you, you could feel it. And, again, I think that's, and I've said this with every one of the members, that's why BTS sticks out. Mm-hmm. It's They're not, like, a typical group. And I mean that not only in K-pop, I mean worldwide, because I've never... Been in this invested in this, I've never cared about a group this much, even American wise. Mm. And I grew up like you, huge Instinct, Backstreet Boy fans. But I know way more about every member of BTS than I'll ever know about fucking any any of those members. Like, it, it's it, it's transcended a different level mm. because because it's it's kind of shown that they're not just artists. They're people, and I think we we get too hung up on like, oh, the famous person. Like, forget that they're real people, and yeah, that's I, what that's what kind of BTS brings is that that again that realness that like you could break them down to a simple level. And, like, yes, he's obviously super good looking. He's had all those moments where people are like, oh, he was the third guy from the left. We've heard that before, mm. you know. But it's like he break down. It's like. He's just as humble as all of them, even though he jokingly says, like, yes, I am worldwide handsome. But wouldn't you? Like, if somebody called me worldwide handsome, I'd be going around all the time, like, yeah, fuck, I'm the worldwide handsome bitch. Like, you know, not, we do think about, like, perfection, right? Like, an idol is to be, like, perfect, kind of. Yeah. But when I when I think of Jen, I think of, like, somebody who knows how lucky he is and is so appreciative to be where he is. And yes. that's why he can really, like, you know, kind of have that self-deprecating humor a little bit, tell the dad jokes, you know. I I think that's what I why I gravitated, like, towards him as, like, as a person that I've chosen to be, like, my bias. Like, of course, much love, much respect, like, all the other members. There is something to adore and uh, admire about all of them. But when I, when I think about Jen, I think about, like, he gets it, right? Like, he gets it. Like, he knows what he has, and he's worked hard to, to get better. Uh, he's, like, a great vocalist, but he's got better. Yeah, I know he had issues with, you know, being, like, uh, you know, like a, a solid dancer, like, right? Like, right, but, right, but he, right. Like, it wasn't his forte, yeah, but, like, but look at him now. Like, that... He's continued to, like, just, like, make, Run moves and make, make moves and get better. And that's something that, like, like I said, like, that's those are the reasons why I gravitate towards him. Like, of all of... Of all of them, even, you know, he is worldwide handsome, like, he seems to me like the person who was like, hey, look, like, I know what I got, I'm gonna keep it, and I'm gonna work hard for it. So yeah. that's that's why I gravitate oh, yeah. towards him. And I know, sorry, this video's been long, but I, I hope you appreciate that we're, we're taking the time to, you know, talk about each member, because mm. they, they deserve that, so. Yeah. Appreciate you sticking around. If you're at this part of the video, hello. What's Howdy. Up? What's up? <laughs> Alright, who's next? Jungkook, the Machne. One of my side biases. 
boy got his hands deep in the cookie jar. And of course, this is before seven. Wow. Wow. Because of one person? RM. Aww. That's what I was about to say. Like, it's because of RM. That's what I'm talking about, like seeing Yungi smile like that. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I remember that. I oh, remember that. that. Oh, we I remember that. that. So that shoot, was when, right? That was no, no. So they were they were doing a. Uh, they were either doing. I think they were doing. No, it was it I, was the video. It, it was the music video they were doing, and they they had acted like they were scolding junk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Her, like, oh, you're messing up. You're not in the right camera yeah. frame. You're all kind of. And yeah. then it had him all fucking heartbroken, and they came and surprised him because it was his fucking birthday. They're yeah. just fucking with him. That's all what I'm saying. Time. Like, I remember like he was so heartbroken because he was just getting his ass chewed. <laughs> he was getting his and ass then, chewed. The and hell then out. boom, flipped it on its head. And like, he's oh. like, you see right there. He's like. Oh, you see that sigh of relief. Really, it's like, oh, god dang it. But they get love my brothers yeah. and my youngs. You know, it's, yeah. it's that, and they, it's a brotherhood with them. Yeah. And, and I get that. Because, like, you, me, Peter, mm -hmm. it's it's a brotherhood. You know, yeah. you grow up with people and you go through life experiences with people. You, you just feel that, man. Absolutely. That was a hilarious ass moment, though. Yeah, like, I thought he was going to be like, leave me alone, leave me alone. Like, cause he's, he's, he's crying, crying like too, yeah. <laughs> that's the realness that they show right there. We're so used to like seeing like his like silky vocals now that you forget that he rapped in the beginning. Yeah. And he's a really good fucking rapper. Going back to duality. Yeah. So I haven't seen the webtoon version. I heard the song, but yeah. interesting. That might have to be something to put on the list. Go to Magne. It's fucking good at everything. 
My boy did a Bob Ross painting. Fucking Bob Ross. Joe Cook is Bob Ross. Ross. Yeah. <laughs> hey, boxes. Oh, yeah. yeah. Boys got them idle hands. Them, them cookie cutters, baby. Oh, yeah. I forgot to name them that. He can play the drums. I know that. And he, yeah, we learned that too. Yeah. He's a man of many talents. Golden Closet Films. That's what. Yeah, that's right. That I knew as well. Yeah. You got an army tattooed right here. Mm -hmm. Aww. Oh, <laughs> Yo, he'll fuck you up, dog. I won't do it. <laughs> I wonder if this will show any of his, like, uh... Um, Some of the stuff we checked out was yeah. a little bit after this, I believe. Yeah. I mean, it's still within a year, but it might be like him doing the uh, the karaoke's. Yeah, I and mean, it's basically what he's been doing for a long time. Yeah. I was gonna see that long wolf cut now. Hell yeah! So, so I, again, I would I would say before seven came out. I always thought Jungkook might have been like the most, the most innocent, the most wholesome, because you know, obviously, like when you think about like no. someone who who is the youngest. I mean, obviously, I there, like there's, 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 that there's line glimpses, for a there's glimpses that will like you know throughout that will like take you into that. But like his the way he carries himself, right? He's always smiling, he's always happy, but he's never like overly like uh, you know out there with it. As a certified junk cooker, yeah. <laughs> oh, you junk cooking? I, he's been teasing it for the longest time, and I think Seven was really his, like, real, like, hey, I'm not a fucking baby anymore. That's I'm a man, yeah. okay? Yeah, like, and that, but look at that. Look, at, it's the no, number one, as it recording right now, it's the number one song in the world. Yeah. Number one on, on all the charts. And there's, like, 1,800 different versions of it, and we've done, like, 1,800 different reactions on this that channel of just true. that song. That is true. And, and, but, but it goes to show, like, this is the thing I've always said about Jungkook, and I'll say it very briefly because you, if you've been around, you've heard it multiple times. Yeah, no. There's just something about Jungkook. He's like a prodigy. Mm -hmm. You have these seven individuals, and this youngest one, again, he's called the Golden Machne for a reason. Mm -hmm. He's good at everything. It's it's one of those where he's he's like the perfect flower that has blossomed. And it, but like a flower has multiple different leaves. He can go to all these different little facets of himself. Mm -hmm. He can be on the world stage singing about the FIFA World Cup and then talk about fucking you seven days a week the next mm -hmm. day. So it's his and his duality is crazy because he is in general just a very sweet, loving, very carefree, funny, happy person. But then in some of his stuff, yeah, he'll get real fucking serious. And again, he's another one of those that strives for that perfection. He is. We've seen in multiple dance practices or or just performances where it's like, how have you not passed out yet? And yeah. he doesn't stop. There's 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 he's, just it's 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 very admiring to yeah, have that kind of like, ability to, to be like that. Like his ability to go is like it is it is unmatched. Like because uh, when he was overheating, when he was gassing out, and he was still like giving it like a hundred and ten percent, and it's not till like the music stops that he like falls and collapses. That's when you get worried. Like you, okay. yeah, yeah, you for should, real, no, yeah. Like, not, like not to be funny, but like you should, yeah. like the world 
should worry about people like that if they're not putting like that time that effort and those talents to, like good use yeah because if he were you know basically if he were using that for evil like we would be fucked you know like he is such a talent like it, it, it goes it goes without saying like you yeah, you it's... you've gushed and you've talked about him like a lot but like for real, like his his you know his go 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 is unmatched it really is and i respect that i was like i was gonna say like something i was gonna make an avengers reference like if all the other guys are the infinity stones jungkook is that snap <laughs> Oh my god, because there's six, and the seventh thing would be the, he's the snap. Wow. <laughs> All right, hold on, hold on. So we got two left. We got two left. Who do you think is going to be? It's uh, probably, probably going to be Gemma next. I was going to say, I think it's going to be an end of a V. Because he was the last member that was introduced, remember? <sighs> you might be right. <laughs> ah! Ah! You don't joke me. I thought it, I thought it was going to be him. And show enough, here we are. Also, shout out. I will say because a lot of people still ask us. Oh yeah, our our, our good friend Poppy Vasquez this mm-hmm. is his bias. Yeah. Uh, we we don't hate him. We don't we're, we haven't beefed. Mm-hmm. Let me be like, what happened to the guy? Did you fire him? No. Yes. He, no, he did. No, 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 absolutely not. He started his own channel called yeah. Super Duper. I'll put that in. The, it'll be in the description down below. Absolutely. But in in in, in honor of, and, of our boy it, Peter. Yeah, P- Peter. His boy. You know, Peter loves him some V. V, I think, like, if you're watching this, you love Peter in return. I think there's that simpatico there. Um, but there's you know, a lot of big words. Hey, you know, I'm smart. I read. I, if you if you come you over were, and watch me channeling, live. You were channeling Peter there. <laughs> thinking, the, thinking you sound smart, but it's, <laughs> ah, If you come ah. over and you watch us on lives, you can see that we're at my house and I have, like, a library. I read. I read books. You don't have read a single book. I read all the time. I remember this performance had me singularity, a little, baby. Yeah, it had me a little bit shook with all like all the the, the hand stuff. King of the facial expressions. Is it true that you never actually intended on auditioning for BTS? You just went to the audition to support your friend. True. Yes. <laughs> That's right, he was hidden till the debut. was great too. love his voice so much it's singularity though it's pure sex baby <laughs> king of facial expressions hell yeah <laughs> it's just like 
Everything he does with his facial expressions, right? It's just that little extra mm. Yeah. That's where Borehead came from. And he came up with the I Purple You, which is Borehead. Mm hmm. Yep. Hell yeah. I'm a little jealous that like some of like his designs and stuff, like Peter got to go home with them. Yeah, his his artistic designs are really dope. <laughs> He's definitely the most chill member of BTS. I feel like he's got the oldest soul, you know? Definitely oldest soul, for sure. Oh man. So again, V, the king of facial expressions. Mm -hmm. His voice though is so silky. We just did the Le Jazz de V a few weeks ago. Yeah. And it's just, his voice is so suited for that. I'm like, I even said in that video, I'm like, hey, I wouldn't be mad. And this is controversial. <laughs> if he left BTS and just did his whole solo jazz career. I'd listen to it, it for for eons. It, it would be his voice is soothing. It would be interesting, right? Like, especially okay. Like I, I said, like he has like an old soul, right? And I think part of the reason why I say that is like, yeah, he is funny, he's goofy, and like, but like sometimes like the way he carries himself, um, I wouldn't say like stoic, but like you know, he he carries himself like in a way where you 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 look up to him a little bit, right? Yeah, yeah, it's absolutely, like, yeah. Uh, and. It, we 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 don't tease about his style, but his style is he has very like much that, that old uh, soul. Like, like even yeah. the way he dresses, the way he you know like he moves and yeah, like just the way he the way he looks like when he's comfortable, like is very very much like an older 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 soul style. And yeah. he uh you know he he is very fun to watch. Like recently, right? Like I've never slept on his like dancing ability. But it really stuck out stuck out to us yeah. recently. Yeah, like with uh you know the on the street challenge yeah, the was street the one challenge. that was like oh shit oh shit okay, okay. so uh, it, it was it was then that I started to, like look at him like a little bit more and realizing like oh like again like th there's a lot of visuals up there right 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 but like when you start to like pinpoint things like oh like I like the way that he did this here or you know I didn't realize that he was hitting it so hard over there right like you know obviously there's like a lot of performances and things that we can go back and look at like he like just like the other guys like he don't miss you know? yeah his, yeah, he's a showman. Yeah, like his hundred percent a showman. His solo choices uh, as well, like very much like accent like who he is and make him stand apart from other idols. Absolutely. And so here we go. We got Jimin, and I'm sure they're, they're assuming they're gonna talk a little bit more because we got about ten minutes left. So sure, let's do it. Saving Jimin for last, huh? <laughs> Oh, serendipity. Hell of a dancer. It was contemporary dance. Yeah. Like, it had me messed up because I kept calling it like interpretive. And this is when he was young, too. Yeah. Oh, 
That was pretty dope. That was pretty dope. Hell yeah. So he technically was the final member, but V is just the one they announced the last. Yeah. The voice of an angel. And he put a lot of work into that. He was on such a show. The cross crab. Yeah, hell yeah, baby. I know that from anywhere. That's the deepest cross grab. Yeah, this is before Face came out, too. Mm -hmm. Which took everything to a different level. Yeah. That Black Swan performance for him is... No, in the video, dance choreographies, performances, he just it's him and his element. Lie, also. That's where he gets ascended. But he still has no jams. <laughs> I forgot. Jokes, he does have jams I now. For, I forgot, I forgot that Arms that he has no jams. And again, Jim is another one that's very open and real. And, and open with his emotions yeah, and say, feelings. Well, and he's a fucking I, badass, dude. I, I, I didn't know if they were going to actually go into his martial arts training. Yeah. But it's awesome that they did. And he incorporates it in acts and stuff like that. Like the, the kick right there. Rips the... Oh, that... But he get to rip the shirt. Damn. <laughs> nice try. Nice try. Shows that realness, man. And lastly. 
Army. Oh, I like that. Oh, yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. Again, so Jim and Jim is my other bias, of course. J- yeah, Jim and Jim, 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 and Jim, Jim Allen for 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 obvious reasons, because not only is he immensely talented in so many different levels, he just it's that realness too. Like he can he, he do it. Speaking of duality, mm-hmm. he can be like that in that last clip we just saw, where he's so humble. But then you look at something like in like the uh, "Set Me Free" Part Two video, mm-hmm. that attitude, that gravitas, that he's I, again him and V, kings of duality. Mm-hmm. But just everything about Jimin, his his vocals, his dancing, his un unbelievable determination to just keep going, keep going, keep going. Again, he has that undying like we're not we're not done until it's perfect. Okay. But he also is so sweet at the same time, and and as he's a joy to watch, and joy to just you know 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 that a, a kind heart and soul like him exists, but also like it would be nasty, dog. Like hey, <laughs> like that's 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 duality at its finest, ladies and gentlemen. If I could add anything to that, because you know, like I know how much you you love and revere him. Uh, yeah. If Hobie's laughter is contagious, it makes you want to laugh. I would say that Jimin's smile is contagious and makes you want to smile. Ah, uh, for sure, for like, sure, brother. Like I, I feel like he, while everybody expresses themselves like in different ways, he, he, his smile is one that's like way different, right? Like obviously it's like big grin, but he smiles with his eyes. Yeah, you know, very much so. Like, yeah, which, which which is something that you don't don't see very often. You can I, see I feel, it's genuine though. This is gonna and say when, he, like, when he's gonna say being real, he's like vulnerable. It's very very genuine. Yeah. Yeah. All right, and so I guess the last is Army though, and obviously we can't forget about Army because we wouldn't even be where we are if it wasn't for Army. Yeah. So. Oh. So like I know I know this thank you to Army is coming like at the very end, which is very apropos because you know, you know. V said it best, like, I'll purple you, Borje, to the end. Um, but, you know, we recently, with our good friends, John Rees, what you got to say, uh, it's on John's channel. We we did uh, thank express, you. Yeah. express ourselves, and we did say thank you. Like, as much as ARMY is there for BTS, ARMY has also been there for us to, you know, make us come correct. Correct when, us. When we need to. Educate us. Uh, mm-hmm. Laugh and, with us, cry with us, and so, everything, man. So, like, while we have come to the show late, uh, there have been a lot of veteran army who have really taken us under under their wing. Um, made us point, feel so welcome, man. Made it like pointed us in the right direction, um, told us what we needed to know to get to know this group better, uh, to know them more as like people and less of the idol. Yeah, and that's something that you know is invaluable. So as much as like the group does for you, Army does for us because you know it's like that big circle of life thing. Like you brought so much joy to our life just by you know like allowing us to come into your home and appreciate this group with you. Yeah, man. All right, this this closes us out here. Actually, a lot of people are very curious about this, but it's very simple. There's 100% of success, and I put, I'll give 50, I'll give half to the armies. They put like 5% each, like 5% value, so that's 35. And I give 50, 15% to the Highland Beacon. If it's a trophy, my, you know, my percent is like 5 I always um, try to realize it uh, for myself, and it really helps me um, keep myself down to earth. And I think it's really important to survive in this crazy industry. Mm-hmm. Oh, because Army will get your ass if you do not come correct. It's very true. And I'm like that too now. Like, you fuck with the boys, you better get stepped on. 
and not in the fun way. You met amazing army. Mm-hmm. face me and Joy and Corden had beef that's all you need to know it's pretty much one sided but why Taylor Taylor why'd you have to sneak James in this video anyways that was a sorry and what are the things we can do in there oh they have their team trees that's awesome Charity wow. map. Wow. Holy shit. The armies I know and the BTS you all know we're all strong. We'll find a way. We always have. If there's no way, let's draw the map. The whole map again. That's so awesome. Great video that, from Taylor Taylor Marie. Yeah, Taylor that Marie. Was, that just, was yeah. You you deserve man, that you deserve, was, our, deserve all the the much love and respect for putting that together. Man, like obviously there's a lot of things that like we know, but like when you get into like specific stats, like things like that, like how many like credits they have, like it, yeah, it is. It, it's, it, I didn't know. It's impressive, man. but I should have known because like it, it is very impressive. Um, you know, I, if you've made it to like this part of the video, like obviously like we've gushed over each member yeah, and, and you're, you know, you're a long way into this. Yeah. But. And, and we, we, we want to show you much love and support and respect. Like, just like, you know, the group has brought you into my life. Um, you know, there, there are times where, you know, I have self-doubts about what we're doing. There's times where I feel lonely. And in those moments of, like, uh, you know, self-doubt and, and loneliness, there has always been you. Um, so from, and, you know, I, I'm sure, you know, Peter would say that he feels the same. I'm sure, like, I speak for you too. But, like, what you, what this group has, uh, has created and then allowed to come into my life is 
above and beyond anything that I could have asked for. So, so thank you. Yeah, and I'll, I'll second that. And uh, you know, it really, it really hit home when we had our our get together mm. with other members of Army. Yeah, you know, people flew here to Texas to to meet up with us, and like that was that was the moment it really hit for me. I'm like, man, like how much of an impact these 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 seven men have created on this world and it's not just them it's army is part of it like like how namjoon said mm. they they give 50 percent of their credit to army and five percent for each of the boys 15 percent to the company but i mean and we know at the end of the day it's the boys that work the hardest but it, this goes back to that humbleness but how can you not be humble with a supporting army like army yeah. like man we we know like from our first bts reaction we we learned real fucking quick that the army does not play, and, and and I'm in that now. Like you fuck with the boys, we don't play. Like I'll, I'm ready to cut you, in a nice way. But you know what I mean. And and army, I know other army members feel that same way. So th- this this was, uh, it was fun to watch and kind of kind of go through an, a history of BTS and yeah. kind of reinvigorate, but also like c- kind of get a new appreciation. You know, because we we know most of these things. There were some things we learned, but it's kind of that that that. I think you should, as a member of Army, you should take as much time as you can to really appreciate what what these seven men have done mm. and what they mean, and and we all know what they mean to us. But to take the time to be like, hey man, like look where they started, and look where they are now, and look where they're going to be in twenty twenty five. It's going to be the greatest, biggest comeback of all time. Yeah, like so to to end it out right, like. To take a look back at, like, their accomplishments under, like, not beginner eyes, but, like, not expert eyes, like, shows, like, how far that we've come, but also, like, how far we have to go, like, in understanding the group as a whole and understanding Army yeah. in general. Yeah. So, you know, like, we, we do talk about, like, having, like, like our, our general bias, like, who, who has, like, you know, drawn us in the most. That doesn't mean that there's, like, no no love respect or you know adoration for the other group yeah. like obviously you know i know being ot7 is very important to support everybody and i 100 percent get that but you know there it's is okay to have a bias. There, yeah there is there is always going to be no matter how much you love all of them somebody you feel like the closest kinship with and sometimes and, oh go ahead and, and i'm saying that, and that and that is why you know we we've expressed our bias on on the channel and sometimes your bias can flip flop but that's just me and And maybe some of you as well (laughs) so we appreciate you coming by come join us over on patreon discord over live on twitch where we do live reactions Mm -hmm. and we just hang out with you guys join us on all the socials all that information is down below go check out peter's channel that's down below as well appreciate you coming by and we'll catch you on the next next one Good shit, right, Maroki? Mm-hmm.